All right, so we have an object lying motionless, and we're beginning our practice test here. And problem one says we have an object lying motionless. And of course, utilizing, channeling the spirit of our favorite physics Canadian, okay? Our favorite real Canadian is Miss Orso, um, followed by perhaps Justin Bieber. I know some of you prefer Drake. But really, my favorite Canadian after those is Mr. Derek Muller who explained to us that whenever we have an object on our surface, there is a downward gravitational force. And because it's on a surface, the surface pushes back up to give us what we call a normal force. I'll write that as Fn. You'll also see me write it as capital N. Now, when an object slides at constant speed without friction, it actually turns out this motion does not require a force to go with it. So it turns out, in fact, that the free body diagram that we have here, in fact, applies perfectly to this object right here. And so we can actually take this little thing and draw an identical free body diagram right here. Now, when we slow due to kinetic friction, it's a very similar free body diagram. There is one thing that happens, though, which is, whoops. So we have a similar free body diagram, but now that we're slowing due to kinetic friction, we also have this friction force going backwards. Now on this surface when we slide without friction, let's remember that the normal force points perpendicular to the surface, so that forms a little right angle there. And then we have the gravity force pointing down, so I'll call this N and this FG. I would encourage you not to draw your free body diagrams on your objects, but rather um, what we want to do is put it away from the object at a point like this. Now here, because friction does prevent sliding, um, we will go ahead and draw a similar free body diagram, but now we have friction. The box wants to slide this way, so friction points perpendicular to the normal force up this way. When we have an object suspended from a ceiling, we don't have a normal force. A normal force comes from our surface. We have a tension going up, and we have the weight force pointing down. So that is page one of your practice exam, and we'll take a look at page two in a second.